Customer experience is the next big battlefield in China's economic process of maturing. I remember growing up in Germany when I was 15, 16 years old, there was a new supermarket that was due to open in town. And we'd watched the construction process of this new mega mart, uh, our first one in our town, for many months. And finally opening day came and we would go to the opening day and would see a variety of products that we'd never seen before. And uh, I remember my mom being so happy that finally that we had this one-stop shop, didn't have to go to 10 different places at the same time. So we would fill up the cart and eventually proceeded to the checkout line, only to find that there was four lines only. And the backup in front of those four lines was absolutely incredible. And we would wait and wait and wait our turn. Checkout must have taken us at least 30 minutes just to get to the front of the line. And lo and behold, when we got there, we noticed that while we were well in the age of barcode readers and, and electronic checkouts, at the front of those four checkout lines were manual cash registers. What I mean to tell you by that is nothing else than the fact that back then, construction of a large supermarket was a wonderful experience and was the right idea at the right time, but it wasn't thought through. The missing portion of that was the customer experience that went along with that. So the customer experience piece that you would leave the store with, even though you might have found everything you wanted to, was that 30-minute wait that clearly at that point nobody cared anymore whether you visited or whether you didn't. You were going to buy because there was no competition in town and there was nowhere else to go except for that, that one particular place. Now, in many ways, that one singular experience reflects what is going to happen in China over the next years and decades. We've had economic growth in China that was absolutely phenomenal. We've had rise of free capital. We've had all the major world brands coming into China. And it was really an era of building and booming. And turning on the lights on and they will come. Today, what we're seeing across the board is normalization of what is going on in China. Economic growth, economic growth is down to single digits and it's due to further decline in the years to come. When you look at spend, government spend and government salaries, salary growth is down into the single digits and will probably decline further. So we're now at the end of the boom phase. The interesting part is what happens now. There is a very large sum of enterprise that has been opened in China over the, over the last two decades. And as <clears throat> the growth no longer happens with opening new doors, with opening new locations, there has to be a different edge that people will need to find in order to return to a particular store or a particular brand. And that edge is customer experience. Think about all of us have certain brands that we have a particular affinity to. Maybe if you want to own a car, you want to own a BMW. Maybe if you go running, you like the Nike running shoe. But that's not necessarily because that car or that shoe is better than another brand. But you have an affinity. You would rather buy a Nike shoe versus a New Balance. Why? Because that brand has created a perception. It has created an emotional bond with you. And that could happen through many different ways. It could happen through an actual product experience, but at the very beginning of that is the actual sales process. So you went to a store and you made a conscious purchase decision for that particular shoe, for that particular car, for that particular fill in the blank. And that purchase experience was an experience that made you want to put your money on the table and made you want to buy at that location at that particular point in time. Something happened. You could have very easily gone to another location. You could have very easily chosen another product, but you didn't. Over the next decades, what we're seeing in market research is that companies, Chinese companies, are more and more focusing on creating that emotional bond, creating a bond between themselves, their product, and the consumer. It will continue to be of incredible importance because, again, as we look at the last two decades, it's been store openings. 
It's been locations. It's been just getting the name and the locations out there. Now, the next iteration of that is bonding the customer. And that's something that companies in China have not yet learned. It's something that in many other countries has taken significant time. So I'm going to take you back to Germany. When I was 15, I told you about the experience that I had at the local Mega Mart. When I go home today, what I see is a very, very different experience. I see smiles where there previously weren't any. I see return policies that back in the days when I grew up are, were unheard of. You bought it, you own it, there is no return. The customer is at the forefront. And that means that every single time that there's a purchase interaction, the customer is going to want to be made to come back. It's a focus that happened in the, in, in the United States as well. If you think about the big brands of customer service and when that sense of customer service was developed, Nordstrom's, the famous story about a lady coming back with four auto tires that she had bought at Sears and she mixed it up, but she brought them back to Nordstrom's. And, North, and the manager said, we will take them back, we will make that customer happy. Now that set of tires may have cost them a couple hundred dollars. However, what that created in goodwill and what that created with regards to perception in consumers' minds about how strongly the Nordstrom band stands behind the customer service promise is today in the hundreds of thousands or even the millions. That's the journey we're looking for in China. That's the journey we predict will happen, will need to happen in order for the process to mature from what it is today.